Alrighty, so overclocking the Ryzen 3600, uh, it's not very difficult whatsoever. This is an MSI, so for me it's pretty easy. I just wander over to overclocking and then I'm going to go to my, uh, my CPU ratio, see where it says ratio, and then it's set to auto. I know that the max I can do is 4.2, which is the max boost, so I'm just going to click enter. I can see a change there. Now the real bump up for RAM is overclocking or the real bump up for Ryzen is overclocking the RAM. So I'm going to try 3600. And then all I'm going to do is go over to save. So just... And then save changes and reboot. So this is an extreme overclock. This might not work since I overclocked the RAM so much. But if it does, fantastic. And then you're just going to do a user benchmark, test it, and then make sure it works. Now, if you do overclock it too much and it doesn't accept it, all you have to do is just take out the uh, uh, the battery out of the motherboard, the comments, commas, C O, sorry, C M O S, and I got lucky and it actually worked. So to make sure it actually it's going to hold. Oh interesting oh we got a fail so I'm gonna keep pushing delete so 3600 it's just too much I'm gonna get myself back into the BIOS and it might have actually reset so I'm gonna dial this back obviously it wasn't accepted try 3466 same changes and reboot I got lucky. Normally if it does that, it will go to black screen and you gotta take it out. So you gotta be super careful while you're overclocking. Usually I keep mine at 3400. My RAM is certified for 3200. But it just wasn't performing high enough for my Ryzen. So just to make it more fair, I uh, boosted it up. I don't recommend doing it all the time. That's just me. I don't care if my motherboard explodes. I kinda want a new one and it would give me an excuse. So, let's see if I can actually get into it. Wait a little bit further this time. Uh, okay, so now I'm just gonna wait a couple seconds. Sorry if you guys can hear that, that's my dog chewing on his toy. Oh, I'm just gonna shove him in there first. What do you got? Oh, good boy. You're good. I'll be back. All right. Just want to try to close a couple things that I don't need running so I can get my highest possible. And he managed to get himself out. Bugger. So use your benchmark. Load it up. Run the free thing. Yes, now it's over on this one. Run, close, and now we will get a reading on the CPU. He literally got up to open up the door to go back to his toys chew it. Uh, Now I am only using a 1650 Super, so the gaming score isn't going to be nearly as high as if I was using my 2060. And with my RAM overclocked to 3,333, I was getting 93% score on my CPU, so I'm curious to see if this is enough to push it up to higher numbers. And this is also a nice way to tell if your game's going to have any problems or crashes by running this.
Oh, that's already higher FPS than what it normally is. That one wasn't very high. It's weird, if you uh, test this with different graphics card, more powerful, it, like that animation would be a lot more fluent. That's how you can tell if you're using a good GPU or not. And then 30 more seconds. And then we will know. <coughs> wow, actually scored higher than I thought. Uh, so it actually didn't perform as well as I thought it was going to. And then out of curiosity, RAM's still not perfect. But, I mean, it performed way above expectations, since it should be here, and I pushed it up to here. I'd like it to get to 95, it would be my goal.